Hello everyone, this is Clay with DG Factors Animation. How are y'all doing? I hope you're doing good. Well, I'm still working on uh, Space Wars. I'm progressing pretty nicely. Uh, but I'm still, as I go, I create all my other sets and my new characters, whatever characters I decide I'm going to make. I make characters from my other scene in that. And so then I got to learn how to, I know I had to learn how to animate the mouths and that from my custom characters because a lot of my custom characters I had to make head attachments to make the characters look different and if you don't make a way to open and shut that mouth you won't be able to animate that character talking so as you can see the image behind me I have movies you open and then I got my latest version of Dark Wolf he is the main evil guy in Space Wars so and he's going to be played by Alexander Trapp of It's a Trap Production. So, I made a new version of him, and I decided to uh, sculpt the head of a more of a realistic wolf in Blender. When I did that, I made the jaw separate from the head. I made the jaw and the head two, two objects, so I can make attachments for the head and attachments for the jaw, so I can make it look like it's open and shut. Okay, so if you can see, I already right. If you look right in here, you can see that I have the uh, closed jaw in place, and in the closed jaw, I put it on face. Is it? Oh, fake beard. So on the closed jaw, I put it on fake beard, and as you can see, the open jaw is kind of transparent because I have it visible. All right, so that's where I started that one off at visible. So the closed jaw will be visible starting off, and the closed open jaw will be invisible starting off. So the closed jaw is on the fake beard attachment, and the open jaw is on the nose attachment. I know that sounds weird, but whenever you're making custom characters, you have to make it work. And this is the way I make them work. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to right-click and go to Edit. Okay. Then I'm going to go to face and then face mask. Face mask is where I have the head. So if I unclick visible, his head disappears, looks weird. All you see is his bottom jaw and his blue glowing eyes. So I'm going to click that. So the, the head is not, is not the one we're going to animate. It's just going to be the jaw. Okay. So on the fake beard, I have the closed jaw. So, and I got the open jaw invisible. Already. So, if on the closed jaw, if I unclick visible, you can see that it's transparent. So, if you look at the camera view, it looks weird. You don't have a bottom jaw. So, I'm going to check the visible again to bring that uh, closed jaw back. And you can see it. Is back in place. He's got his jaw back. So his mouth is closed. All right. So if I go to nose, the nose is where I got his open jaw. So if I and, I, and you can see, I have it clicked, unclicked visible. So I unclick the visible. But if I click it back, and you can see that the bottom open jaw appeared. So if I go back to fake beard and I uncheck visible for the closed jaw. Now you can see his jaw is open. So I go back to the nose, uncheck uh, visible, back to the fake beard, and check visible. So in a way, you see his jaw kind of looks similar to was open and shut, but it, not quite well. But we're that's because we're going to animate that. So in, in order to animate, we're going to close this. We're going to right click on the character and we're going to go to direct. All right? And then, then to property. Direct and property. Like so. Okay? Now, starting off, we're on the attachment. We're going to select the closed mouth. Okay? And then we're going to go to track. Well, once you select closed mouth, you got to go to prepare. So go to prepare, close mouth, visible on the track, not image or color. Because if you use image, then you'll be uh, 
animating the texture, and then you'd have to go back and forth switching the texture now. A little bit, of, a little bit more work. So I decided to use visible. So we'll click visible, and we're going to make sure we go to keyframe. Okay, and then we're going to switch back to direct. Okay. Now we're going to do the same thing for the open job. We're going to go here and we're going to select open job. Again, we got to switch to prepare. Okay. And then again, we're going to select visible, not image or color. We're going to select visible. And then we're going to make sure we got it on keyframe. Okay. And then we're going to switch to uh, direct. Okay. So for that first one, we're going to add the first keyframe. And we're going to un where it says current. Current turns off, turns on and off the visible. So if you unclick it, it makes it invisible. You click it, it makes it visible. So right now we're starting off with the closed jaw, and we're going to unclick current. And as you can see, he has no jaw. That's because we got to go back and uh, animate the open jaw. So we add a keyframe and click current, like so. Then we'll move to the next frame, keeping it on the one that you already have, add a keyframe, and then you're going to uncheck current. Then we're going to go back to the closed jaw, add a keyframe, and check current. So uncheck and check turns off and on the visible. So Uncheck, check. Okay, so we got open and close. So let's do that again. This time we're going to stay. Don't move from your current one. So just add a keyframe and uncheck current. Go back to the closed mouth, add keyframe and click. Well, open mouth, I'm sorry. And then check current. So Open, close, open, and let's do one more close. Then go back to the close mouth, check, and then current. So, play that back real quick. See? But that's pretty much how I animate my custom characters that have custom made head uh, with a mouth. So if you don't do it that way, then you won't be able to animate your custom head to make it look like a top. So you got to make two separate pieces. You got to separate the bottom jaw from the head. That way you can use a head for the attachment of the head with the face mask. And then you can place the, the jaw for open and close, either the nose or the fake beard. And then you can animate the visible. That's pretty much how I do it. So that's it. Uh... If I, when I, as I go, if I come up with some more nifty new tricks, how to make your characters animate, your custom characters animate the way you want them to work, I'll, I'll make another video for you. So, until then, I hope y'all have a blessed day. Thank you.